friend. How are you doing? Welcome back to Painting with Mike. I'm your host, Mike. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely wonderful in this world. Let me go ahead and run the colors. They'll be down below and explain what I got going on here. And just before, I just want to say thank you so much for your awesome comments. And if this is your first time viewing, hopefully I can get you to hit that subscribe button. Every time it does, it always warms that horn. So let me, you know, let me explain what I got going on here. Uh, 16 by 20 inch canvas. I went ahead and used some black gesso. I actually used Brandon Thomas black gesso and I put this black in. I just used a foam brush and I just went down like this with it and kind of just put these indications of like pine trees and then filled it in black. The top has amazing white medium and the bottom here has the Brandon Thomas smooth flow, non-toxic, clear medium. And that's pretty much it's all on there. So just so you let it dry and then the mediums. And remember, everything is in those brushes. So let's just feel good about ourselves and be confident. And we'll go ahead and put it on there. We'll have ourselves a beautiful outcome at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and load up. I'm gonna grab a head and use a number two landscape brush here and go into my blue. Now I'm just gonna pull a little bit of this down and tap in. Okay, kind of load up both sides. And remember, just once again, just feel good about yourself. This world <laughs> will beat you up. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll put all that stress, we'll put it to the side and we'll forget about it for a few moments, okay? And we're gonna come up here and start painting. So I'm gonna do that. Just like that, just, just like this. And bring it on over. There you go. And as you can tell, it's just mixing with that medium, so it's just making everything looks, look awesome. And you do it right here. You don't have to even do anything, just exit like this. Okay. It's a nice little exit, just like so. And it does all these wonderful action as you can see right there there you go and just blend it out real soft like so all right you went ahead and got a wonderful nice sky in there let's go ahead and use our palette knife and make make a mountain color, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this alizarin crimson, as everybody likes to let me know. A little bit of this black here and a touch of that blue. And go ahead and mix that in there. There we go. And just pull it out like so. And grab yourself a nice roll. So if you go like this and just pull straight down, you'll get your nice roll. And we'll come up here and touch. So when you do this, you wanna, this part of it, we're, this is the original mountain color. So with this, you wanna push that in there. And you really just want the top edge. I mean, it's all you care about. You just push it in and scrape it, okay? Come in, do something maybe like so. Just like that. And we'll come in. Same thing right here. And just come in and scrape that off. Wipe the knife and, oh, I forgot. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little one inch brush, two inch, whichever, and just pull some of this out here, okay? Just like that. And don't mind go, don't worry about going over this, okay? We're using translucent colors, so it pretty much is, this black should show right through it, okay? So don't worry about it. Just come in and just pull some down. 
There we go. There we go. Beautiful, huh? Let's go ahead and put this down. Grab our trusty, trusty uh, palette here. And we're gonna go ahead and just pull it straight down. Grab yourself a nice roll, like so. And when you, when you do this, you wanna barely touch and slide and glide. It's kind of like skipping, skipping a rock on a pond, okay? You just slide and glide, okay? And same thing here. Just like so. Again, something like that. There we go, something like so. And then go ahead and There we go. And let's go ahead and get a nice little shadow color. So we'll go ahead and take this, put some like so. We'll take a, a little bit of that blue. And we'll take some of this mountain color here. And I think that's a, I think that's gonna be a nice color. Go ahead and grab some. And just come in and Same thing, same thing over here, same thing here, get some nice little shadows in here, over here, very, very soft touch with this, very soft, okay, let's go ahead and just There we go, let me clean this. Grab a, pull that out, grab a little bit more of your white here. And let's go ahead and have some fun and re-highlight a little bit. Just like so, okay? It's a, it's a little awkward, I know at first, but you'll figure it out. I mean, just, just get yourself some nice, Thick paint, okay? Get that thick paint, it'll really, really help you out. Let me take a step back here. Okay, I think that's pretty decent. I think that's pretty decent. Maybe just a little bit of the just a little bit of this original little color here and just pick a couple of spots just like so just a couple spots just a couple there we go Let's say, I don't know, let's say you don't like a section, okay? Just for fun. You can come in and just scrape, scrape that whole thing off. Uh, you know, I just don't like the way it looks. Whatever, okay? Come in, let's put in a little bit of your dark color. Make sure you push that in there and scrape what you can scrape. Come back with your white and re-highlight. Maybe you want something like that. Okay. Do our shadow. And 
it pretty much looks the same, but I'm just saying you can have fun. You're not you're typically not too, too bound with this. Okay. knife go ahead and grab this guy and a little bit of some some white paint just tap some in and right down here same thing over here And you got some beautiful mountains. And just real quick, I thought we had some beautiful mountains, but I step, took a step back and I just don't don't dig it right there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white. I'm gonna add a little bit of white right over here. Maybe there's some right here. I told you anytime you can change, change your mind. If you don't like something, it's your world. Paint. Paint what you think is best, okay? And there's just a, just a little touch over here. There we go. Alrighty, we have a beautiful mountain scene. Let's go ahead, I wanna tint, tint this uh, gesso right here, the black color, okay? With a little bit of this sap green. And I mean, just a little bit, we're just tinting. And I'm gonna show you what I wanna do. I wanna tint here. Basically from here up green and from here down blue, okay? So from here, here up some green and just, just like this, not to go over and into the, into the blue sky, okay? You wanna stay below here, we're going about here, okay? Just like so. Maybe just a, Touch more over here. Okay. And it's just providing a nice little green, green tint right here. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just knock off some of the paint off of those bristles and go into the blue. Once again, a small amount, okay? You're just tinting. If you put too much, you're gonna have problems. Just a small, small amount, okay? And we're gonna... Go across. Maybe. Right here, just a little bit more, and just bring it right on up. There we go. Go into, into a little bit of your white. I mean, just tap in a little bit and I wanna miss this out, just a little bit. Kinda of make yourself a nice little line. And then just start going to town, okay? There we go. Go like that. Straight up with it. Straight up with it. And then very softly. All right, here we go. Let's put this down. We'll grab a fan brush. And I'm gonna go into some white. 
and we'll see how it is. We may have to put a little bit of the uh, white medium on here, but some white. And let us start right here. And put ourselves a nice little, nice little river. Maybe something, something that comes back like so. And come in. Like so, let me fill up, fill up. Let's uh, load up a little bit more here. Remember, feel good, feel, feel good. Feel proud of yourself, you can do this. Remember, no one's holding your hand right now. If you're painting along with me, you're doing it by yourself. I'm just giving you some directions, so you can do this, okay? So you're gonna load up, and we'll see. I might need to add just a little bit of medium, but we're gonna come in, and you're just gonna come like this, and straight down, okay? And then load up. And it's one motion. If you keep going over and over again, you're gonna ruin it. So it does it does it all in one motion and then you walk away. So you straight across and then down. Okay? Straight across and then down. Okay? And then we're gonna come like this. We'll do something like that. Let's say it's, we'll just say kind of splashes. Hopefully I'll remember to come back and do some more to that. But let's say it goes like this. And all, I'm, ju I'm just going like this. I'm not, I'm not doing anything special, okay? Just, just going like that, okay? I'll go nice and slow, see? It's all I'm doing, okay? But let's say, let's say it kind of comes out and maybe I don't know, maybe it comes back here. We'll have it something like that. We might paint that over, we might not. Let's just figure this out. Let me make sure I get this nice and nice and straight there. Okay. And then one last little. There we go. Go back in here because it just doesn't look straight. I'm probably going to paint over some of this, but there we go. Okay, a little bit better. Okay, we went ahead and put in some water. Have those lovely mountains back there. I'll probably have to straighten the water. I'm always painting on kind of on an angle because of the angle of the camera and everything. But uh, let's go ahead and make some some tree color. Okay, so I'm going to go with a little bit of this blue. I'll put it here, some black, some crimson, crimson, excuse me, some of my green as well. And we'll go ahead and make a nice dark color. There we go. And I'll clean this. Clean this knife. And we're gonna load up like so. And then let's go up to the palette, or up to the uh, canvas. Okay, we're gonna start right here. And we're gonna put in some stuff here. That's just a little a little too purple for me. Let's go ahead and darken it up a little bit with some some black. Maybe throw in some of this oh, some of this brown. Let's see what this comes out. A little bit better, I guess. Just come in like so. And do the same thing here. tree just come in like so and touch touch 
and then just start working those working those arms out do the same thing here maybe this one's a little bit a little bit taller there we go and then same thing see Why not one more? Maybe right here. And same thing. Touch, touch. There we go. And all this is is the blocking, the shadow. I mean, it's okay, no worries, nothing big. You just do something like so. Let's go ahead and get a couple over here. Let's go ahead and I just want to put one right there. Same thing. Touch, touch. And then just start working. Working your arm down. I mean, if you have to, if you want, you can, I always say, just go straight down, make a nice, thick, thick post there, get your brush, and then just come in and get your arms out. And it's just tap, 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 okay. There you go. Go ahead and get maybe one more, one more right here. Same thing, touch. That's it. here maybe start some something right there like so and then come back and just just like that let's go ahead and grab our palette and we'll grab some white put it there and a little bit of a van dyke brown there we go something like so and just come in and touch like you can come in and just a little scrapes you're not going to really see too much because it's black but you can get some stuff going like so there we go okay all right you went ahead and got that beautiful beautiful waterfall and all this beginning foliage with the with the pine trees let's go ahead and get those guys highlighted okay i'm gonna go ahead and use my clean fan brush i'm gonna go into into my cad yellow here i'm gonna grab a touch of my amazing white oh make it a little bit here there we go and touch of this green just a touch All right. Here, let me 
come in and we're gonna highlight both sides. So we'll touch, touch, touch. Like so. And come back and load up. And then the same thing over here. There we go. And just keep doing it. There you go. There we go. Oh, I don't know if you hear that. It's my son coughing. And same thing here. Yeah, let me go ahead and get some more of that medium. There we go. There we go, just like so. And then this side, to the right side, and then left side. Right side, and then left side. Like so. Okay, a little bit more medium, and back into here. Here we go. And then a little touch, touch, and then the other side, same thing, and then the other side. Just like so. And same thing. And then I want to push this kind of in front, so we're going to go like so, okay? And then the same thing here, kind of load up, I'm getting a little bit dirty, so I'm going to take a little bit cleaner stuff. And same thing, I'm going to go right here, touch, touch. A little bit more of that medium, a little bit more of the green here. And a little bit, a little bit of that yellow. There we go. Touch, touch, just to touch. And then the other side. And then same thing here. There we go. Like so. There we go. There we go. And then this guy. up a little bit and grab a little bit more of that medium there we go there we go all right well we went ahead and gotten this far everything so far has been been pretty decent hopefully you like everything so far and i haven't bored you so and if you're painting hopefully you're having the success remember you're you're holding everything with your own hand and doing it so you, you can do it okay and i'm going to go ahead and just make some rocks here and i'm going to take a little bit of this van dyke brown i'll mix it right here Maybe uh, take a little bit more here. There we go. Have a nice color. Got ourselves a nice roll. Let's go up to the canvas.
Okay, let's go ahead. We got our nice color here. And let's go ahead and put in put in some land. Okay. Just like so. A little bit more. And we will have something I have it coming down. Maybe something like so. And same thing over here. Same thing. And let's mix a little highlight color or shadow. I would say that a little shadow color. Some white with some blue. And take some of this to dim it down a little bit more. Yeah, something like so. And let's just go ahead and no, that's definitely way too bright. Darken it up. A little bit more and more of this color here. Let's see what we got. Shadow color here, same thing here. I'm just gonna put in this shadow color right now and we'll come back and have some fun. Put some some up here too. There we go. Now let's go ahead with this color here and let's have some fun. Maybe it comes out like so. Add a little bit more weight to it. Maybe have something like so. Like this. Oh, I forgot about this little little cave area there. Oh, we'll put something there, no worries. And then uh, maybe something over here. Uh, maybe, maybe even something like so. Let's go ahead and go into this pile right here with my one inch straight down grab some some of this medium and just tap into it and let's go ahead and put some foliage do something like that Come down. There we go. Do something like so. Just, there we go. Well, yeah, same thing here. I'm just going straight down with it. Grab some more of that medium. Kind of turning the brush. And then coming in and just popping some stuff. We're going to go right over there because I forgot all about that. So we'll just put some stuff in right there. Come over here. Let's do the same thing. Maybe 
something like so. Maybe something like so. come in and just there we go and same thing here we grab a little bit more of that medium bit of that green in there same thing over here And same thing here. I'm just having fun right now. Just find where you'd like it. Pop it on in there. There we go. And a little bit more over here. Something like so. And I'm gonna go into some dark. It's gonna go right into the black. Just tap it so we get some shadows. Same thing here. There we go. Just a drip of some mineral spirits, just a touch of mineral spirits, just a touch. There we go. And same thing here. Couple little highlights here and there. A little, little bit more of that shadow color, a little bit more of the white. Same thing here. have to do this I'm just doing a little extra touches because I'm feeling addicted right now and I can't stop so but just have fun that's what it's all about remember I mean you only live once you might as well enjoy it right so come in something like so maybe a little bit darker over here darker here there we go just play between the colors you know just play between the colors all right 
right, let me grab a liner brush and some, a little bit of my paint thinner. I'm gonna go into some of my white medium here, right into this pile right here. And let's see what we got. Not bright enough. Let's go ahead and use this stuff again. A little bit of, give me one second. Got a big old chunk of titanium white on here. Let's see. There we go, a little bit better. go a little bit over here just flicking it up we get a little bit more here something right here so every time I anytime I use this liner brush you know I, I just stop talking try trying to concentrate happens to me every time every single time maybe over here white and we'll do a couple with dark and we'll call it a day. All right, let me clean this. I'm going to go into uh, some black here, paint thinner. There. And let's go ahead and Put some dark soon. A little bit more of the thinner, some more paint. like it just put it wherever you like it's perfect okay it's perfect there we go a little bit more over here white there we go remember take the time this is the time where it just really pops everything out is using this liner brush right here at the very end it really pops everything out
pretty. I think that's going to be pretty much a finished painting here. Maybe just a couple. I just want to see if I can get any, any lines with this thing. Not too bad. All right. Try to get a couple of lines here. into my white here. Maybe something like so. to get a little, a little bit more action here. And then right here, sounds looks like a great spot to sign the name. And we just thin out your paint. It should slide right on over. And just find your corner. Go left, you can go right. I like the left corner personally. Alrighty, with that, we did a beautiful, beautiful landscape painting today with a mountain and nice little waterfall and some beautiful, beautiful foliage. I hope you had a good time painting along with Mike. I definitely want to thank you for doing so. And until next time, please take care of yourself. And once again, if you'd like to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.